Here is the test review for AP United States History 1, a strong start for the nation. We will start the test off with 15 matching questions. Here are the terms you're going to need to know. Number one, Judiciary Act of 1789. Number two, John Jay. Number three, Thomas Jefferson. Number four, Alexander Hamilton. Number five, Edmund Randolph. Number six, Henry Knox. Number seven, George Clinton. Number eight, Assumption Bill. Number nine, Edmund Zanet. Number 10, Jay's Treaty. Number 11, Thomas Pinckney. Number 12, Napoleon. Number 13, Aaron Burr. Number 14, James Monroe. And number 15, John Marshall. Make sure you know what those particular individuals or pieces of legislation uh, stated. You will also have several short answer questions. I will read the question to you that you will need to answer. Number 16, explain in detail the nation's Congress after the first election of George Washington as President of the United States. Number 17, 18, 19, and 20, name two of the three basic problems that President Washington and the Congress had in organizing the new federal government and give one example of each. 17 will be the problem, 18 will be the example, 19 will be the second problem, then 20 will be the example. Number 21, name one advantage of the Bank of the United States according to Alexander Hamilton. Number 22, name one advantage that the United States gained as a result of President Washington sending a representative to Spain to negotiate a treaty in 1795. Number 23 and 24 list two major accomplishments by President Washington and his administration during his two terms in office. Number 25 and 26 list the two major concerns President Washington expressed when he left office. Number 27 and 28 list the two things President Washington warned Americans about in his farewell address. And number 29 and number 30 compare and contrast two differences in philosophy between the Republican Party and the Federalist Party. Those 30 answers in matching and short answer will be three points apiece, 90 points. Your final 10 points of the test will be a short essay question. Here is the question. Briefly explain the unusual circumstances surrounding the election of 1800. List the candidates, the political party they represented, the positions they ran for, results of the electoral college vote, procedures to solve the issue of the electoral college vote, end result of the election, and laws passed to better organize the election process in America. That essay will be worth 10 points to make the test totally worth 100. Now, tomorrow in class, which will be October 17, both second and fifth period, we will go over this test again to make sure that you are uh, clear on that. It would probably be good if you spent some time this evening reviewing your notes so you're on task tomorrow during this review. The test will be Wednesday, October 18. We will meet in the Commons for class both second and fifth period. If you have any questions on this, you're free to text me or give me a call and I'll help you out. Okay?